Well, the mandate, as you said, broad uh, mandate, uh, but to uh, summarize uh, is to uh, analyze the situation of indigenous peoples, to give uh, uh, an advice to state and to indigenous people how to implement uh, uh, the right of indigenous people that is stated in the UN Declaration of Indigenous Peoples Rights. Mm -hmm. And of course, to find uh, uh, good practices, negative practices also that it violate the human rights of indigenous peoples, uh, to do official visit, uh, uh, to find uh, uh, issues that uh, has to be reported to the United Nations, uh, to receive communication of uh, uh, abuses of human rights of indigenous peoples. And uh, when we receive those uh, uh, denounces, uh, uh, the special rapporteur, also one of the measures that, uh, or one of the action that the special rapporteur had to, in the mandate is to communicate to the state uh, of the alleged human rights violations and to suggest uh, some uh, uh, measures to, to respect human rights of indigenous peoples. Also to suggest uh, and to advise them in a new, uh, uh, we can say laws or, or measures, or legal measures to protect indigenous peoples' rights. Uh, there are uh, also um, uh, to intermediate between indigenous people and uh, states uh, to resolve uh, conflicts if uh, when when there are conflicts between indigenous people and governments. And uh, now it ha we have been, uh, they, or not we, the state has been brought more the mandate of, of, of the special procedures. And we are now capable to send also a communication to private sectors, which are affecting indigenous people's rights. And I think that that is something that is very important uh, to, to do two specific studies a year, uh, thematic studies uh, that has to be submitted, one to the Human Rights Council and the other one to the General Assembly. And there are specific thematic uh, reports that uh, the special rapporteur has to see what uh, is going, uh, what issue is going to, uh, or is important to have uh, more information on for uh, the very protection of indigenous people's rights, but also to analyze the general situation of indigenous peoples. And of course, uh, uh, when uh, indigenous people are uh, denouncing a possible human rights violation in a new law that they have been discussing uh, in the country, the special report too also can uh, send a communication to the state, uh, offering them suggestions of change, uh, changing the languages of in, me in measure to the law. But also, if there is a, a very difficult law, also sometimes the special report too has been asking to not to uh, adopt that law. But if it's a law that is uh, uh, that is possible to change and to adapt to, to protect indigenous people's rights, uh, it's also something that uh, the special rapporteur is uh, advising, to, or the mandate is advising to do it. And um, yes. there are many other issues uh, in the mandate that uh, can be possible to do by the special rapporteur. Well, actually, there are, there are many issues that is affecting indigenous people in this moment. But for this year, 2023, uh, I am thinking to analyze uh, the consequences uh, of uh, the uh, impact of the industry of tourism on indigenous people's uh, right. Uh, uh, positive and negative, of course, uh, I don't want to say impact negatively. I uh, both negatively and, and positively. 
and also what are the initiatives the indigenous people have in this industry because uh, as far as I understand there are some projects led by indigenous people they are uh, having a very good uh, impact on the indigenous uh, not only economy but uh, also on their culture strengthening their culture so I think that that is something that is very particularly of interest of the, the mandate uh, to do that study. And the other study uh, yet is a very broad uh, issue, but is the impact uh, that is having the, the work of the international finance institutions, uh, which uh, I am not sure yet uh, specifically in what branch I'm going to focus my study, but in general is uh, the impact of the finance institu international finance institution on indigenous peoples, right? The challenge that I have is that, uh, is that the uh, uh, United Nations is only authorizing the special man uh, mandates uh, only to visit a year. With uh, 100 and, no, I'm sorry, three, how many? 193 countries, it's impossible to cover all the demand uh, of visit of, 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 of states. And, uh, but also uh, the willing of the state to receive a visit of the special procedures. Uh, so the thing is that uh, w that is one of the biggest challenge. And added to that is that um, because of other uh, pol political issue, I mean political that is affecting the world, it's not the, the political issue in the United Nations, but it's what is politically affecting all the life of, of humanity, uh, a special procedure doesn't have enough uh, support uh, because uh, there are not enough uh, um, res economical resources to have a or to strengthen in the uh, support that we need in, 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 in our work uh, in, in Geneva. But we are resolving that. I think that uh, the people who are working in the mandate, they are some time, uh, giving more time that they, 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 they have to, to give, but uh, because the commitment that they have, they, they, they are giving more time uh, to the mandate, even sometimes I think they are giving 25 hours a day. So that is very important to, 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 to express also, but uh, the challenges are many challenges in the mandate. And, and of course, the challenges, one of the challenges that worries me is the expectative that indigenous people have in the mandate. Some, sometimes indigenous people believe that the mandate is going to resolve their problems. Uh, but what uh, the mandate is uh, mandated is only to, to uh, make recommendations to the state. And, and that is uh, sometimes uh, is not enough to resolve the problems that indigenous people are having in this moment. And unfortunately, the problems with indigenous people, uh, to the indigenous people are increasing in this moment, especially with uh, uh, the uh, industry of, uh, or the extractive industries that is, is something that is affecting uh, all the humanity in this moment. Uh, and, and uh, of course, the accumulation of wealth uh, of many states uh, are doing is something that uh, is, uh, is, is, is uh, we cannot understand how they are putting a, not only preference, but uh, is putting um, the wealthy uh, first instead to the, protect their own people. So that is something that uh, sometimes is very hard to believe. And of course, uh, uh, the challenge, uh, not only for the mandate, but for indigenous people is the climate change, adaptation and mitigation of climate change in this moment is very hard, especially when we are seeing how uh, some states, uh, they are uh, taking over the land of indigenous peoples. 
And of course, uh, all what we are seeing is the when they are uh, creating the new protected areas and the uh, creating also the the so-called uh, human humanity heritage protected area. I think that is called uh, from UNESCO. They are not consulting with indigenous peoples. And that is something that is worries because uh, they are still using uh, a definition of protected areas that was created 250 years ago. Okay, so I think that uh, those uh, are the issues specifically when uh, they believe that uh, no human being has to live in the protected areas. When uh, uh, you analyze that situation, you see that uh, that uh, specific uh, indigenous peoples have been the ones who had able to maintain that, uh, that area in the way that they are finding. That's why they wanted to protect. Uh, but uh, sometimes uh, it's difficult to understand uh, those issues, specifically when you see that uh, sometimes uh, those areas have been given in concession to a private uh, uh, company to, prof to make profit with that, uh, but they are not taking in account indigenous people. They are sometimes that those are the challenges that uh, I have, not because I have to, the power to change that, it's the challenge to, to not only to understand, but also to, to, to stand on uh, uh, or beside indigenous pe to people to protect their rights when there is taking place this kind of injustice to them.